In this problem, we're told a rocket blasts off and moves straight upward from the launch pad with constant acceleration. After 2.8 seconds, the rocket is at a height of 91 meters. What are the magnitude and direction of the rocket's acceleration? And B, what is its speed at this time? So first, we've got to understand what's going on, right? So we have this rocket, and we know the rocket's going to be starting at rest, right? So it's on the launch pad, starts at rest, and then it's going to fly up 91 meters, basically. And we know the time it's going to take for it to go upwards is 2.8 seconds, right? And then it's going to reach this point, and it's going to have uh, some velocity, right? So we're just going to call that V. So we're trying to solve for do, uh, two different things here. For A, we're trying to find the magnitude and direction of the rocket's acceleration. So for A, we're trying to find the acceleration. And then for B, we're trying to find uh, the speed, right? So B, it says, what is its speed at this time? So they're talking about the speed right here, the velocity at this time. So we're trying to find acceleration and velocity, essentially. Let's just go ahead and start with A, though. So for A, we're trying to find the magnitude and direction of the rocket's acceleration. So what we're trying to do is solve for acceleration, and the way we're going to do it is by using kinematics, right? So we're going to use the kinematic equations and then plug in the information we're given in order to solve for it. So first, let's just write out our given. So what information are we given? So we're given how long this is going to take, right? So we want to imagine like an interval. So the time this interval is going to take is 2.8 seconds. So writing that down, 2.8 seconds. We're given that. We're also given the initial velocity, v sub 0, which is 0 meters per second, right? Because we know it starts at rest. And when something's at rest, it's not moving. And then we also know how far it's going to travel. So we can call this delta y or the change in y. So it's going to be changing in y 91 meters, right? Because we're imagining it starts at 0, and then it goes 91 meters. So it's change in y is 91 meters. And then what we're solving for is a. And since we're given three of the uh, three kinematic variables, what we can do is plug them into one of these equations and solve for a. So if you look at the equations here, we're given t, we're given v sub 0, and we're given delta y. So you see these say delta x, but imagine uh, x can be y. It doesn't really make a difference. So if you look at the equations, we're going to be using this one, which is basically delta y equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared. Right? And the reason, we, uh, reason we're using this one out of uh, the other ones uh, is we're trying to find uh, a, right? We have delta y, we have v sub 0, and we have t. So we have every variable we need, and a is the only one left, so we can solve for it. So all we have to do is just plug in the numbers. So delta y is 91. So 91 equals v sub 0, which is 0, multiplying by t, which is 2.8. Uh, 0 times 2.8 is still 0, so we can just get rid of that. And then it's just 1 half times a, right? And we're solving for a, multiplied by t squared. So t squared, that's just going to be 2.8 squared. And so what you want to do is just go ahead and multiply both sides by 2. And if you do that, you can get rid of the 1 half, right? So multiply this by 2. 2 times 90 is just 180, so this is just going to be 182. And then you're just going to get 2.8 squared times a. And so what we want to do now is just divide both sides by 2.8 squared, right? Because we want a by itself. So go ahead and do that, 2.8 squared. So you just want to do 182 divide by 2.8 squared. And when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 23.214 and so on. I'm just going to round to 21. So 23.21, you can round however you want. And then the units for acceleration is meters per second squared. So acceleration is going to be 23.21 meters per second squared. So when they say magnitude, they're just talking about the absolute value, essentially, and then they want the direction. So keep in mind the direction is positive. And when I, uh, we generally say positive is upwards, negative is downwards, and that's the way we set it up, right? Because delta x was positive, right, a positive number, and we went upwards. So basically, this being positive means it's going upwards. So you could say 23.21 meters per second squared, and then just say upwards, or just specify the direction however you want, but just know it's going up. So I guess this is your answer to the first part. So this is your acceleration. So this is A. So we have the acceleration now, and what we want to do for B is solve for the speed at this time. So the way we're going to do this one is similar, but we can use uh, acceleration this time instead of using one of these variables. So keep in mind, we're going to use kinematics for this one too to solve for V instead, right? But we can use A instead of um, whatever variable we want to use, right? So A equals 23.21 meters per second squared. Just rewriting all the variables t equals 2.8 seconds, v sub 0 is still 0 meters per second, and then delta y is still 91 meters. Right? Notice we have four out of the five variables, so we just have to pick an equation that has v. Right? And if you notice, this one doesn't have v, so we can choose any of these. Uh, the one that's easiest to solve, though, in my opinion, is just the first one. So v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. Right? So we're going to be solving for v. We just need to plug in v sub 0. We need to plug in the acceleration. We need to plug in the time. Right? And we have all those. So v equals v sub 0. v sub 0 is still 0. So really, it's just going to be the acceleration we'll throw at the time. So the acceleration is 23.21, right? Solved it for the last problem. And multiply how long it goes for, right? And so it's going to be for 2.8 seconds. So you just want to do 23.21.
right? And then multiply by 2.8. So 23.21 times 2.8. And when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 64. You're going to get V equals 64.988. So you can round however you want. This is about 65. So you can just say 65, and then the units of velocity are meters per second. So 65 meters per second, that's going to be the velocity uh, after 2.8 seconds or when they reach a height of 91 meters. But yeah, so this is going to be your answer to B, so 65 meters per second. And then your answer to A was 23.21 meters per second squared uh, and then upwards. But yeah, so these are answers and hopefully you found this useful.